Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. <laughs> if you haven't been in one of my classes before, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex Cooper. I teach the computer classes for the Columbia County Library in Evans, Georgia, and also for the Harlem Library and the Uchi Creek Library, now Grovetown Library as well with our new Grovetown building, yay. So right now we're all staying home and staying safe and I hope you're staying safe as well. And we're also not doing any on-ground classes and no uh, study rooms or anything like that, no in-person programs. So we're doing all our stuff virtually online. So glad that you're here uh, to join us today. So today's class is gonna be, let's build a website with WordPress, okay? So um, welcome, welcome and very glad that you're here and as you come into the classroom just kind of say hello so welcome to class please feel free to post questions in the chat and uh, of course the big question i always want to ask is how could i help okay do you have any questions? Have you tried to use WordPress before but had some problems? This class actually used to be our blogger class for people that wanted to create a blog, but then it kind of turned into more of people wanting to use the number one uh, most popular blogging uh, website, which is WordPress. And then, then people also wanted to know how to build a website. And I said, well, WordPress is one of the easiest ways to build a website. There are other companies too that do stuff like Wix and stuff, but really like the WordPress one. So we kind of turned it into, let's build a website with WordPress. So our focus is kind of making, um, you know, like a blog site, but also I'll be showing out how you can also make it into also a, um, a uh, you know, like a business site or uh, just, just something that you sell. I think in some of the other classes, we talk a lot about doing home-based businesses and WordPress is a great place to start trying to advertise or you know let people know about your business so as folks come into the classroom i'll tell you about some of our other classes so on tuesday we did raspberry pi computer projects uh, live with alex that's me <laughs> we did uh, ring a doorbell it was a lot of fun the bit the video is up we made it go ee, 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 beep and we did all our python coding for it and everything on Wednesday, which was yesterday, we did the Google Suite class where we talk about Google Docs, uh, Google Drive, Google Sheets, and Google Presenter as well, which is the online version basically of the Google Suites of Office software. So it's similar to Word, PowerPoint, and Excel, and it's online. And we kind of walked through each one of those and did a few little projects for each. Also yesterday, we did our email one-on-one personal and business email. We learned the basics of using email, including addresses, contact lists. We had a bunch of great questions yesterday. And one of the things we talked about was if you're receiving emails and folks that you don't want to go into spam, their emails are going into spam or something. You can actually create up your own, create your own filter for that. And also putting uh, maybe newsletters or coupon emails that you receive you still want to receive and maybe it's bogged down in your inbox then create a folder for it or if it's a Gmail create a label and then you can create a filter and it'll all go directly to that and bypass the inbox okay so this morning what we did and I'll disappear for a minute this morning what we did was we did Google School so we learned a lot about the Google School products. All these things are free that you can uh, use for free. Um, Google does have a premium price if you want more space, um, cloud space and stuff. But everything we talked about was completely free. Now uh, our classes for next week, I'm actually gonna be off on Tuesday. We won't have a class on Tuesday, but on the 15th, excuse me, the 14th we'll be back with starting our Halloween classes, woo, our spooky classes, and we're going to be doing uh, Scratch Basics, let's make a fun Halloween card, and a dance party, Halloween dance party, okay? 
So on the that's in the morning and the afternoon is let's talk about Libby, our new digital library. If you're unfamiliar, we've actually switched over from RB Digital with our ebooks and audiobook, our digital audiobooks, and switched over to a new service called Libby. And we'll be talking about that and also we'll be talking about other free resources that you can get from the library as well. Okay. And then on Thursday, we're going to be doing App Swap at 11 o'clock. Come join me for that. I'll be sharing a whole bunch of apps that I use on a daily basis, kind of can't live without stuff. And then you can actually come and post the ones that you really like and why you really like them and share them as well. Okay. And then on the 15th, we're going to be doing an introduction to Google Cardboard VR. Okay. So a little bit of an extra going pat beyond what we did in our Google school, but also talk about Google Cardboard. And then internet shopping the next week and lots of fun Halloween stuff like Scratch Basics. Again, let's make a spooky, a spooky card and Dance Party, Python Coding, Scary Spot the Difference Prank where we actually make it look like someone's about to play a game and then instead a ghoul jumps out and goes Arr! at them. We'll be coding all that. Also, we'll be doing an introduction to Unity class. Let's make an amazing robot game. And then a Raspberry Pi project, how to make a sound trap. So if someone steps on the front floor mat or something, it'll play some random sounds that we choose. And then we'll finish up the month, the spooky month, by let, hey, uh, Scratch Basics, uh, let's make a spooky game. Okay. Also, I am doing one-on-one gadget help with Zoom and... Um, on uh, for Harlem on the 21st and the 29th uh, all you need to do is call into Grovetown Library Harlem Library to schedule your your time and they'll send you the, give you the rest of the information just a little quick synops here I know we have a new Libby class coming up but if you are trying to use Libby and trying to log in the biggest step I believe is when you're searching for your library just search for the GCHRL, meaning the Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System, and then choose Georgia Download Destination and put your library card in, and then you're ready to go. Also, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Curbside Holds Pickup is available, and you can go to gchrl.org for details. You can also call into the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Right now we're having a subscribe drive. If we get 100 subscribers, we'll get our own personal YouTube channel. Or you can search YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pop right up. All right, so let's go ahead and let's look about what we're going to cover. <laughs> I'm back. Basically, so what's been your, um, you know, how have you used, how have you used WordPress in the past? Um, what, what, you know, were you able to complete a building your own website? Did you have issues with building the website? It's recently updated, so we'll even learn a little bit of new stuff together. I'm going to open up just one of the neat little blog sites that I have, and I'm waiting for it to load something. Hopefully it will load in just a second. It's still thinking about it. Okay, and then when that gets loaded, I'll actually post that into our chat there. So let me go ahead and I will open, there we go. Yay. Okay, so one of the things we do in class is basically we have a handout for you in class. You come to class and then everybody will have their own computer to be able to, you know, the, to follow along with, I guess you could say. And now that we're actually doing things virtual, of course, we're not doing it uh, that way. So the easiest way to most recommend is basically to have me kind of in a separate device, okay, and then have your computer in front of you, And but I will be flipping back and forth. Uh, with our handout. I will try to have it as big on the screen and I'll move out of the way when it's time as well. So let's talk about what we will cover. 
okay? So we're gonna cover what is a blog, okay? We'll talk about what is WordPress. We'll talk about why I use WordPress. And we'll also talk about uh, uh, the cost of WordPress. Our focus really is on using the free uh, version of it. And we'll go to WordPress.com. Uh, using WordPress as a blog, we'll show a sample page, and then we'll talk about using WordPress as a web page. So it's not a blog that you continuously post and it, and it scrolls down, and then but it's actually a static page like you would at any other normal website. Okay. We'll have tips, and also we'll have some other questions as well. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about what a blog is, and I'm going to disappear here, so I'm not blocking anything. So let's talk about what is a blog. It's a regularly updated website or web page, typically uh, one run by an individual or small group that is written in an informational or conversational style. Okay, uh, Some of us may even view something like Facebook, Snapchat, or kind of like our own Instagram. It's kind of like our own personal blog. We may not really think about that because we're mostly just sharing information with friends or family members. Okay. Why would someone want a blog? Okay, To share information about themselves, their interests, or for promotions reasons. Okay, What does a blog cost? They start at free. Okay, Just need an email address. It's easy. You can send it, if you can send an email, then you can actually post a blog. Okay, Some of the big blogging sites are blogger.com, which actually is owned by Google, LiveJournal, Twitter is technically a blog, if that's the true definition. And WordPress, of course, and that's what we're going to focus on. And there's Wix as well. So let's go ahead and start talking about what is WordPress. WordPress, um, WordPress started as a simple blogging site in 2003, but it has evolved into a full um, system. Okay. The best way I can really describe this is kind of like it's having a website uh, engine. Okay, WordPress is a free and open source content management system (CMS). It is mostly is most widely used CMS software in the world, and as of May 2019, it powers more than 30% of the top 10 million websites and has the estimated 60% market share of all websites built using a content management system. WordPress is easy to use, powerful, and flexible. Creating a website and maintaining a website is a science and an art that has quickly evolved. Okay. WordPress features, and I got some pictures of it down there. Thousands of plugins, widgets, and themes. 55,000 plugins to help your website meet your needs. Add an online store, galleries, mailing lists, forms. Uh, analytics and much more. Okay, can, and someone says, "Can I install WordPress on non-wordpress.com site?" Yes, you can. If you host your site, let's say with GoDaddy.com or some of the other hosting sites, when you're actually setting up your website, it'll say what CMS or content management would you want, or do you just want to upload like HTML files directly? If you choose to install WordPress, it actually doesn't cost anything because WordPress doesn't cost anything. Okay, so you can actually have it in many different systems. Um, oh, excuse me, many different uh, websites that are not uh, WordPress.com related. Okay, why use WordPress? Cost and our focus, of course, is on free. Okay, so let me go ahead and let's pull up WordPress. So here's WordPress, and in our handout, we were going to go ahead and look at our uh, focus here. So we have our nice little introduction. So 
So it kind of gives us some examples. As we kind of scroll down, build a website, sell your stuff, start a blog, and so much more. Build simply. So it's very easy. I will tell you this, and the big big thing is, is to have lots of pictures, okay? If you can have high quality photos, if you're trying to sell something, definitely have try, try, try to have high quality photos. Even if you're a blogger, you may want to have some good pictures of yourself uh, to post on here. Any of the information that you're really talking about, if it's a product or whatever, definitely have some great pictures to go with it. Let's try to stand out, try to choose a theme. The great part about it is in a minute, we'll talk about some of the new features of the new, um, uh, the new version of WordPress, because that's what we're going to do is pull it up live. And it allows you to make some really great um, designs, but do realize that pictures are play a big role in designing your website. As you can even see their example here, the person is choosing green. I don't know why it's going up and down. The green like that because it kind of matches a lot of the green in the picture, doesn't it? And this is kind of our new thing is building with blocks, okay? So if you wanted to build one, and we'll talk about price in just a second, adding things like a store, PayPal, makes it very easy. And they'll even sell you domain names as well. If you don't have one, okay, there you go, it's right on here. So. The big one that we're going to start with, of course, is our free. It does mean that they'll put some advertisement on our blog. So just kind of be aware of that. But it's a huge um, group that posts and blogs on here and then connects with each other. Okay. Let's look down here on the personal. If you want more than just what this has to offer, there are a limit on certain things, like, like certain things you can't, certain themes you can't use. If you did decide to do the personal or some of these other um, benefits that they're actually talking about is ones more that are business geared, like your own domain name, lots of space, and also being able to add an actual shop that people can shop on as well. So don't just think that, oh, well, they just want more stuff. They also gives a lot of benefit with those um, other costs as well. Uh, but we're going to talk about the free. So we talked about the cost, which we're going to focus on free. And we also talked about, here's some of our designs that you can start with. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and let's log in here. And we'll also start with our sample page. Okay. So let's start off with this gentleman's page. All right, so this is as a blogger, okay? This is a gentleman that lives in New Hampshire, and he posts a lot of pictures, uh, basically of plants, talks about stuff, let's see. Oh, bears, apparently been in his neighborhood. So kind of talks about outdoor stuff, does have some advertisements on here as well. But pretty, pretty general here. Just kind of puts out a good vibe. I like a lot of the pictures he posts. Here's, of course, fall happening. Oh, look at all those leaves there. So this is New Hampshire, so the leaves are turning a little bit quicker, of course, than ours are here. And the trees as well. So just because it has a nice background, 
he it does more than the other because he can actually add some other stuff to it as you see in the bottom you can actually have some share buttons printing if you want to be able to make it easier to print let's see oh, looking at some Halloween stuff Ooh, it looks so spooky Ooh. so kind of neat picture of the day there you go the big thing is that um, he posts a lot and he uh, you know kind of has this focus on taking pictures of nature and kind of doing stuff like picture of the day which keeps uh, keeps people interested okay so the other thing is talking about being a WordPress you know introduction to blogging so let's go ahead and look at that Now this, this is a really great link and the reason I bring this into it is because it even talks a little bit about the history of blogging uh, and also it talks about the different sections. Okay, So mostly if we're using this as a blog, one of the big benefits is you can actually do it very easily from your phone. So let's say the one that we had just seen, uh, he may actually take those pictures just with his cell phone or something. And if you actually install the, the WordPress um, app to your phone, you can very quickly post pictures you know, to your WordPress page. Okay? Mostly what happens is this. If you have it set up as a blog, it actually will go in. It will show the article, the time. The, there's a lot of customization here. Okay? Um, it will also show old archives as well and you can actually set up tags. Tags allow you to say stuff like, uh, if you want to tag it as snow, like we saw a bunch that said fall, I can see all those pictures being tagged as fall. So later on, someone could look at the tags and say, oh, that has information about something that says fall on it or Halloween, and then click there and it would show all the articles that had those as tagged. Let's say it was like a tech blog. Well, you could do tags, let's say, uh, Windows or if it was a video gamer blog it could say like PlayStation 5 or something and then when you click there it'll take you to the articles that have been tagged uh, or labeled uh, with that now there's also other places here um, where it also will automatically put in the articles kind of like as a big a big list kind of what we were looking at there again being able to do this on your phone makes it very easy you, you type in something you basically hit post and it adds it to the blog and then after a while it breaks it up and then they would have a section here that said like next page or it also would put it in let's say like an archives okay used to the big thing was to set up feeds so you wouldn't have to actually go to websites you just have it load automatically we don't really do that as much it's not as popular as that as it used to be but you could still do that if you wanted to so let's now talk about our um, section here that says using WordPress as a web page okay so you can set up WordPress as a static web page what I mean by that is it's basically what people would say oh that's a website okay so we do have advertisement going on okay because this is someone that's using the free um, WordPress it's called whatbirds.wordpress.com And when we look at here, we can actually see that we have a static page. Okay. And we also have, this isn't a blog. We also have photos. And we have different sections. We have a full menu. Where everything's kind of under uh, the menu and stuff. So 
let's look at birds. Let's see. Uh, let's scroll down here and it shows our bird. We click it. See other birds, let's see seagulls, there's a laughing gull. And we see their theme in the background. I like that theme a lot. Look at this picture, doesn't that look great? Laughing gull is easy recognizing, recognize by its completely black head, the size, nape, breast, and belly are white, and the black back is gray. There you go right there. So this is more, someone would say, a, um, a setup of it just being a, a static. Here's a picture, picture of the day. Isn't that nice? Unidentified birds. Mm. Okay, so that's a great example of Bird School. Got some education links on here to other websites. There you go. So this isn't really a blog. We still see our share things on here. You could even reply and post a comment as well. So that's a great example of an actual WordPress page, okay? Now, let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's talk about setting up our page, and I'll open up one and we'll kind of play around with it. Like I said, there's actually been a big update recently, so we'll actually get to play around with that as well. We will be using the actual um, WordPress um, I guess you'd say account that's free. <laughs> so if it shows any limitations, that's what we'll have. Hold on one second. All right, so basically you go to wordpress.com. It's already logged me in, okay. So <laughs> you go to WordPress. Ah, something even newer is happening too. So you go to wordpress.com, you click where it says start a site. You can put your email and password, and that's all you need, okay. Choose the right username. Uh, choose the right username and password. Will be connected with your website. So a big thing to know is it'll be whatever username that you choose. Dot WordPress. Dot com. Okay. So do realize that. Let's talk about customizing our site. Customizing WordPress. The possibilities are endless. When it comes to customizing a WordPress website, WordPress themes and plugins can add new design options and added functionality, okay? So let's go ahead and let's just play around a little bit here. And I'm going to go to, which one do I want? All right. Just kind of a simple site that I have. I will actually use it for examples and stuff as well. So right now it is Nope, I typed in the wrong thing. Hold on. Oh, it's dot com. Hold on. How to
But basically, it's just a simple little website. Mostly, I use it for this class lately and edit it. And as you see, it's just got a few things on there. I mostly just use it as a bookmark for myself for tech stuff. I'll throw it on here and then I'll be able to add stuff to it and then uh, kind of keep track of it. And we even have something called Summer Fun. That's pretty neat. Oh, so it's our picture. So this is the last class that we had. So we'll do something uh, similar to that. So kind of basic uh, allows you to choose the different kind of themes you want. So here we click our edit. This is our edit page. Okay, so we can see our different articles. Now this is um, done as a blog site. No, no, no. Yeah, it's done as a blog site. So the articles just kind of automatically get added. The plan is free. So let's go ahead to my home and let's look at our main menu. Okay. Now we actually did see uh, something that said popping up about something new is coming. Okay. And let's see. Let's look at this. This is our one of our newer thing that's happened is to be able to use the block editor. Okay. So I think there's a video. Hopefully there's a little video. There we go. WordPress, you'll use blocks to create content. This is a newer thing that they've gone to and a reason to take a new class on WordPress. There's a block, the, there is a block for every type of element you could ever wish to add text, images, video, audio, column, space, page breaks, payment button, calendar, and much, much more. The editor brings brings with it an effortless page and post building experience with blocks you can quickly add and customize multiple media and visual elements that use to require complicated shortcuts custom HTML and embedding so let's look at this customizing pages and posts on your wordpress.com website is easy with blocks you can create pages full of different types of content and lay out each page or post just Customizing pages and posts on your WordPress.com website is easy with blocks. You can create pages full of different types of content and lay out each page or post just the way you want it. To start, let's say you want to build a new post about your store. There are several ways to add blocks. You can pull up the block inserter tool anywhere you see the plus icon. From the top menu, hover over each block icon for a brief description of what it can do. The default block type is paragraph, although there are dozens of blocks for different types of content and functionality. You can start writing, add images or video, create a menu, and much more to any post or page. You can also click return to add a new block right after the one you're working in. Or click the three dots above your selected block to add one right above or below it. Finally, you can even type slash to find and add a block where your cursor is. Rearranging blocks is easy too. You can drag blocks around by clicking and holding the handle in the top left corner, or simply using the up and down arrows. You can press shift to choose multiple blocks. You can even group them. And you can remove a block by clicking the three dots above it and choosing remove block. Finally, the block navigation icon in the top menu gives you a drop-down list of all the blocks active on your page or post. Click on one to move right to it and start working. Block by block, you can build exactly the site you want. For more, visit support.wordpress.com. It's a great resource, WordPress support. Let's look at our other video that we have here.
Every type of block can be customized with two types of settings to make sure your WordPress.com website looks just the way you want it. First, each block has its own unique toolbar with its most important features. Click on a block to reveal the toolbar right above it. For example, with the paragraph block, you can format the text, its style and color, and the position of the text within the block. For an image block, you can easily change its alignment, width, and style, or even easily change the image or the type of block itself. Most blocks have additional settings such as duplicating or copying the block in its settings, editing the HTML, and even adding the block you've customized to your reusable blocks, allowing you to create a block you can use again and again. Each block also has a sidebar with additional options to further customize your block and editing. You can reveal the sidebar settings in the drop-down above a block, or by clicking on Settings, the gear icon in the top menu. For image blocks, for example, there are more options for positioning or even editing your image. And for the paragraph block, you can change the font size or color, the background color, and much more. There are many ways to set up and customize your blocks so that you can create and lay out web pages on WordPress.com just the way you want. For more, visit support.wordpress.com. All right, so let's go ahead and let's play around with the blocks a little bit. As you see, uh, and if you're not sure what any of this is, you can usually hover over it and it will pop up and tell you, okay? Different settings, can you put in HTML if that is what you prefer? Absolutely, you can, okay? Moving block, sending block, all kinds of great stuff. And if I did want to have the, that article separate, it's under support WordPress editor and this is a whole thing called WordPress working with blocks okay and if I went to I might see something yeah there you go so it's WordPress support WordPress editor and then if you scroll down it gives a real in-depth about using it okay beyond than what we're just talking about here in class okay so let's go ahead back to our little section here. Let's close that. Uh, they've recently added a free photo library which connects up with, uh, I'm not sure which service it is. I'll have to look at that. Okay, so basically we have some stats. Like I said, I mostly just use this site just to kind of post stuff for myself. So no, I'm not getting a whole bunch of uh, information, but you can get all that information, traffic, insights, who, how many people are you getting a day, how many people are you know, looking at stuff. So it actually does happen. Here's about the different plans as we talked about earlier. It'll talk about the, the benefits of changing, upgrading, some of the things you'll get, more unlimited space, premium themes. And let's go ahead and let's look at our design. So let's look at some themes to begin with. And as you'll see when I scroll down, I think some of these will say premium themes, show all themes, there we go. There's some more advanced, there we go. Unlock all premium themes with your premium business plan. So not all these themes are actually available, okay? This is the one that I'm currently using is the basket two. I think it's, uh, which one is it? Oh, it's not even listed on here. Interesting. 
One good thing is that you can actually click here and get a live demo of what your site would look like or what the, excuse me, what that site is like. Again, the, the, the big deal about is you can have this text, this very minimalistic text, but you really need really um, large, uh, beautiful graphics to go along with that, okay? Big, large graphics. There's home, there's their Facebook and their other social media. The other thing you can view it as what will it look like on a tablet what will it look like on a phone okay so a lot of these themes try to be very cross um, uh, resizing and stuff for the different ways that we actually view our you know, view our world, I guess you could say. Let's look at, that's the one that we looked at the premium in the video. So there's our desktop. More of it being up here and then to the, the right side. So let's choose this one and we'll play around with it. All right, now if I just go to, don't know if it has changed anything. Yeah, there we go. So it actually has changed. Do you see the difference already? So how could I actually edit this to make it look the way I want it to? We got to go to our WordPress and let's go to our design. A big one is going to where it says customize. Now this, the big point of this is, this is customizing the, the, this is customizing your site based on the theme you're using, okay? So this allows you to change lots of stuff. Let's see, so we can actually go ahead and choose kind of a palette we want it to be at. Gray background, that looks kind of neat. You can change ink main colors that you're interested in. I kind of like this the this palette here. Look at our menus. So right now, I believe it just says home, about, and summer fun. So let's go ahead and I'm actually going to delete that and we're going to create a new I'll not delete the menu, I want to remove this. So let's add to our menu. We want to add new page, we'll call it Fall Fun. And what do I actually want this to be? Let's see. Include any posts. We're gonna, we're gonna create our own post on that one. Let's see. Let's see, so. I have to create the page first. Maybe I do. Hmm. Okay. I think I have to create the page first, so we'll we'll focus on doing that first. Okay. So let's look at our different widgets. Now these it should show a little bit of an example here. This will actually allow you to give it more connection. This is mostly focusing on blog stuff. I think I created this in the last video. All right, time now for your forecast for the next three days. So we want to include a video. So let's go to WJBF. The threat of someone. And I believe there's a forecast on here. There you go. So there's a forecast. It is time now for a look at your three-day forecast. Another beautiful. 
for today and I will click share and copy and then go back to our customization and I'm going to edit the video okay why isn't it letting me There you go. Place video. Add widget. Now when we look in the main section, we'll actually see uh, the new updated. Let's see, we show. All right. So we're done with that. Okay. So let's go back. So that's on our footer. Let's look. We looked at our widgets. Let's look at our home settings. Okay. So right now, this is how you actually change it. This is where the, the magic is, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna read this and then I'll explain it, okay? You can choose what, what's displayed on the home page of your website. It can be posts in reverse, chronological order, classic blog, or a fixed static page. To set a static home page, you need to create two pages. One will become the home page and the other is where your posts are displayed. Now. What that means is all these websites will still have one page that's like a blog page. You can hide it if you want to, but you but the main page is if you want it to be a static page, that's how you do it. Right now mine is set up for the blog, so when we post something new, it'll appear here. But the static page allows you to basically create it as a website. So the what bird site we went to, that's what they've done. They've chosen for it to be a static page. Um, throughout okay but you do need to make one page a blog page um, but if you don't want to list it in the menu uh, that that's fine too okay so let's go ahead back and let's see is that what I want oh you can just choose the text header color background all that kind of good stuff let's see I don't want to do that right now. And you can actually make a logo if you want to. I don't have it set as a logo. I also have it display title. And if you don't want that, then you just uncheck that. Right now it has the site title here at the top. You can also make an icon which means that when you go to the website, it's usually right about here, it'll show a little bit of a, a cute little icon for your website. And I don't think I have any, I can just upload right now. What do you want the footer to look like? The default the logo, a WordPress website. Right now it is set for, yeah, just create a free blog, just the default. What would that look like? There you go, wordpress.com. I actually like that, that looks pretty good. And to hide that, you have to have um, the business version, powered by WordPress. Why don't we just have it say wordpress.com? I think that looks nice. And this actually allows you to see, so that's what our footer is where we added our pit, our, our today's weather and all that wherever our footer is it's going to be like that and we can actually view it to see what it would look like on different devices as well okay now and save changes. Let's go back. All right, so we did all that. That's not what I want. Where am I wanting to go right now? We did our menu, we did our widgets. 
that was where we created our gallery that's down there at the bottom okay all right so let's go back let's do a refresh ah there's our theme and then when we go to the bottom which we, we're going to organize it here a little bit better in a second we go to the bottom here we'll actually see this is today's weather it is time now for a look at your three-day forecast. Another beautiful and unseasonably warm day today with a high of 89 degrees, a lot of sunshine. Tonight becoming partly cloudy, lows down to 62. Clouds increase throughout the day on Friday. We'll call it partly sunny with a small chance for a very late day shower. Then for Saturday, mostly cloudy. We'll see a 50% chance for rain, a little breezy with highs staying warm. Yeah. So very easy way to embed stuff. I like that a lot better than what it said. So it just says wordpress.com at the bottom. Okay, now let's go back and let's look at our tools. We're going to talk about our plugins. Well, wait, let's go ahead and first let's actually post something, okay? So let's go back to our pages. We made the summer fun one. We're going to delete that. And let's make a new page. We're going to call it Fall Fun. All right, loading. And this actually helps us get ready about how we want it to, to be designed. Is that cool? An about page. Let's see, because this is a page. This isn't a blog page. There's blog pages there. Contact page to kind of get you started. A menu, portfolio type of page, services, okay, team. This is kind of what we designed, we looked at before. Home page. I think we'll kind of stick with this theme. I think that looks pretty good. So let's do that. It's kind of our beginning layout, okay? To kind of get us started, okay? All right, so we're gonna just call it Fall Fun. Fall Fun. And let's see. Uh, what? Uh, let's see. Let's change our picture in the background, and then we'll we'll know a little bit more too. Let's see. It's not what I want. Where's the? I think I'm actually going to go back and uh, do blank because that's seems like I'll be fighting uh, that a little bit. So let's let's go back. Let's go back. All right, make a new page, and I'll actually choose blank. And I'll have the options to do all that stuff too. So I'm going to choose blank. Use blank. And call it fall fun mm -hmm. Let's see so we need a paragraph block what do you like to do in the fall Now let's look and see everything we have. So we have all these blocks that we can actually drag and drop over there. There's a podcast player even. Patterns. Oh, I like that. That's cool. So this allows you to import pictures very easily with pre-made kind of lo layouts. Okay. There's our blocks. 
images, title galleries, make like a collage. Let's try a collage. I think that would be neat. So let's do upload. Uh, let's see if we can do, well, I can't do search. Well, oh, okay, there we go. Media library. And then it should allow me to let's see. Add via URL. There we go. Pixels free. Okay. Let's do that. Let's say fall and see what we get. Okay, there's pumpkins. Okay, so let's do pumpkin on there. That looks good. Insert. And let's do media library. Let's do the pixels again. Oh, I guess we can, can import them all at one time. I guess. All right, she got her pumpkin. We already kind of showed a carving a pumpkin. Let's see. Looking at the, the um, trees. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I like that one too. Let's see. I was hoping camping, we would find some camp. Oh, someone throwing up some leaves. Want to look up camping too? I'll say, sure. Copy it over. All right. I guess we gotta wait a second. Still waiting. All right. Let's try that again. Well, I guess it may take a minute to do that. I guess it's going to think about it. Okay, so we'll give that a minute then. So basically, we already have a nice collage. We've got some ideas here. And some other pictures and then all I do is I click here and then I choose what other kind of blocks do I want over here let's go ahead and let's just kind of look at it oh, this is about so these are ones that are already made up which are interesting here's a calendar one a podcast player some kind of newsletter uh, here's an event if you're having an ever bright event you can set it up on um, Eventbrite open table to reserve a restaurant let's see our paragraph one is our main one checking headers codes classic let's see images slideshows let's see tile gallery which we looked at let's see images just with the title underneath I guess here's our videos Ooh, let them download a file that's important See the design layout, adding buttons, columns, groups, give yourself a page break. Let's see, and here's our widgets here countdown event. <laughs> That's pretty fun. How about we do that? Okay, so. Uh, we'll say Halloween. Halloween 31st. There we go. Here's your date. All right. So, count down an event, set a time, and pick a title on the date. Okay, I did. 
get it. All right, we'll go to their next. Aha! How about that? Isn't that cool? Okay, I like that. Let's see. So we got a countdown. Let's see. We got a video. If we want to import a video, let's see. Upload a video. Media library. Insert a URL. So we'll insert our same one about the weather. Very easy. Just a few clicks here. Browse. See what else we have. And here's the important ones. If you need to go beyond what just some of the basic stuff they allow us to do, there's things like, um, you know, customize the HTML, add HTML code, and preview it as you edit. So if there's something specific you want to do, there's the uh, social media icons, the search, the tags, embed a GIF on here, Google Calendar event, there you go, latest Instagram post. Now that's great. So if you do set this up, and I do recommend this, if you do set something like this up, so if you are posting, does that do that too? Um, but you can actually, let's see, you could actually set it up like the Instagram here. They usually have a Facebook on here as well. For a business, sometimes it's easier to post. There it is, embed a Facebook post. So it may be easier for you to post videos and stuff or pictures to let's say Instagram. You could actually have it embedded in your website here and then it's like you're posting in two places at the same time, okay? So let's look at a GIF on here. Oh, let me search Giphy, let's see. Let's look up Halloween real quick. Oh, that looks great. Let's do that. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky. Let's say spooky. It's spooky. Very spooky. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Does that mean I've chosen it? Let's do a preview real quick. So fall fun, and we're going to add our other pictures on there. What do you like to do in the fall? And there's our countdown clock. Here's our weather. And look, there's our spooky GIF on there. We have our other blog stuff that's on there as well. Let's go back up and let's see if we can get our other pictures on there. Ah, it looks like it's having a little bit of a problem. I'll do publish and then we'll come back. How about that? Okay, now do refresh and it happens stuff this is all online stuff but sometimes you can run into like a little glitch or something all right let's see there you go and it's loading all right so we got our little our kid with the, the leaves And I wanted one that was like camping or something. I think that definitely tells it's the fall. Yeah, there you go. How about we'll search for camping. About that that's pretty neat mm. ah 
nice or camping and waking up and seeing the sunrise. Perfect. So what do you like to do in the fall? We've got this and leaves and spending time outside. We've got a countdown clock. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on, don't we? All right, let's look back at some of our other choices. And if we keep scrolling down, we have our embedded here, which allows you to add content very easily. Here's Spotify. You can add a Spotify playlist, SoundCloud, and a Moto in there if you wanted to. Let's see. Kickstarter. Whole bunch of there's even TikTok. So I guess you can add a TikTok video if you wanted to, a TED Talk. TikTok, TikTok. Let's see, Loom. You could add a uh, in some interactivity. You could add a poll on there. Pay with premium. Now this does show that it's a premium. Okay. So like I said, they do, you do have to pay. It's not just a free site that you can do money on. Here's about contacting people, people giving you their, their contact information. Let's see, click to tweet. Let's see, all kinds of stuff. It's a pricing table. Oh, compare, play multiple images in a single stacked gallery hmm. now the other thing about the pictures is let's see the things like the post carousel blog post timeline and a bunch of the other ones on here let's see if I can do want the this here oh okay Oh, that must be, okay. Where's my images? Where's my images? Images compare. Oh, that's neat, because you can like swipe back and forth. A nice slideshow. Tiled gallery, which is kind of what we did the collage one is what we did. Let's see, where's offset? Stacked and just put putting an image and then there's a gallery too. But if you had slideshow, let's look at that. And I'll just choose some of the ones that we already have. looks very good okay all right so let's go ahead and do update and now that we have our page we can go back and we can add it to our go back I want to go back to the okay we did update where do I go okay we did all that already I want to go back now Uploaded, global style, jetpack, settings, visual editor. Okay. No, that's that's still dealing with, with that. I want to go back to the main area. Okay. So I guess we Oh, it's interesting, I couldn't just uh, escape from that. Okay, hold on. I want to go back to my, where, where is it? There we are, okay. So let's go back to pages. We should see fall fun now. Now when we go back to menu, where's our menu? Design, customize, theme, is that under customize? 
yeah, menu, and then we click here. There's only two. We're going to add an item. It's going to say, what item you want to add? I want to add the fall festival. So now we have a new um, item on our search here. Okay. All right. So let's go back. And let's do, let's see. widgets, our home page settings, let's see, all right, and our, whoop. we have our theme, okay, so we have our welcome, welcome, and then we also have our fall fun, which is the page, not the blog. Okay. And the other thing I want to do is hold on. Thought there was a way that I could make it so it was three rows. Maybe I need to choose a different template for this. Let's see. I think I'll choose a different theme because apparently I can't do that with that one. At least it's not showing that. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one here. That's interesting. Kind of liked it when it was broken up into three sections. Okay, so I should be able to create that. Let's see. With all this, it just kind of lets you jump in, jump out, decide what you want it to do. And let's see. So we have all that done. Let's see if we can mess with it. We have our menu done. We have our widgets. Okay. Got the home page settings. Let's see. Let's see. The icon. We did the footer already. How do I get it to split up? Mm, well, hmm. There's something I'm not doing, but okay. Let's go ahead and let's look at our tools and our plugins. So, the plugins give us more features, okay? It can even give us more flexibility. Uh, adding to our search, being able to make it a little bit easier to be found. Also creating forms, okay. Kind of even allows you to go back to the classic ways things were done. Okay, so let's look at the popular. Oh. So you need the business plan now to upgrade. Okay, so with the free now, they're not letting you install certain plugins. So this would allow you to have more flexibility, even if you're using the cheaper one. But you saw what we were able to actually create for free. But there are tons and tons of plugins that you can actually use. Posts. 
So this is the one that we made last time. Just kind of our hello world, Robert Frost, and then we included a beautiful picture. Isn't that beautiful? And if we go back, so that just kind of creates it where it keeps going, you know, on and on, I guess you could say. Here's our media section where we show of all the pictures we have up. And our jetpack is mostly our activity log. go back and play around with the customizer. I feel like I'm missing something because I wanted to split it into three rows. Hmm. With the other one that we had, kind of like what we started with. Let's look back at our themes. So it's recommended. Let's see all. Intergalactic. Let's see. Okay, this might be more what I'm looking at. go okay that's kind of more what I wanted I wanted something that was broken up a little bit more it actually shows our menu in a different way we have our pictures on here and I do think we need to choose a logo because it does look kind of basic where's my uh, let's see let's just choose something for now I think this is a great one Let's see if it'll size it for us. Can I crop, or is that just your? Okay, hang on. If I choose select logo, I'll choose that one. Let's say caption, okay, it's fine. Ah, so it's it's this little square, okay. All right, it's not really what I wanted. Let's see if I can make it the width of it long, wider, and then maybe it'll actually show a little more. See what it does then. Okay, well that's all it's going to do. <laughs> that's funny, but it does look a little bit. There we go. That's what I want. Header image. All right, so let's add our new own image. That's what I wanted. Okay, so here's our header image. There we go. Let's get rid of that little logo thing. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now let's change our background and get a different theme. There's a background pattern. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. Welcome to 19, seven, um, 1997. That's all they got. Ugh, that looks, that looks terrible. Can't even read it. Yeah, let's pick our own color. All right. I think we wanted to go with the dark. Kind of a black and red, interesting. Hmm. Ah, that's nice. Click match header. I think the match header works pretty good. 
I would not use those patterns. That would be very difficult to read. Okay. Let's go with that for now. Header image menus. We have our menu all set. Content options. Let's get our widgets on there. Recent posts. Search footer. So we have all this stuff here at the bottom. Recent posts. Let's get rid of archive. Okay, I think that would do well. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. I think we'll remove that. All right. Let's say meta. Okay, well that's just our stuff. Category categories. <laughs> Let's see. Show post count. Interesting. Okay, let's do that as a drop down and see. Let's see, show if. Okay, we won't go into that. Let's see, recent posts, I think that can be important. Search, of course. And then we have metadata, which we don't need. We'll actually remove that. That's only for me. Then we have our little uh, roads gallery going on. We don't want that. We could put something else. And then back is our navigation. Okay. I think that looks good. Let's see. So we did our widgets, homepage setting. There you go. Last post, featured content. Let's see. Don't display the tag in the post. Let's see, also display tag posts. Let's see, portfolio, won't deal with that. And there you go. All right, so let's hit save. Let's go back. And let's actually pull up and look at our site. Is it listed on there? Let's see. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I like the header. And I also like that we have the full about fall and everything. We could mess with the um, fonts and make it a little bit bigger too. And we have everything kind of together. And it says older posts here. Here's our search. Here's our most recent, here's our categories, here's today's weather, and there's the roads, our pictures, our picture gallery, okay? Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so there should be a way If I did want to get rid of most of that, the, the, the footer stuff, let's see, let's get rid of the uh, Rhodes Gallery thing, or let's talk about what other widgets we can add, okay? That's a good idea. So let's talk about other widgets that we can add to our footer. So we have our archive, okay? You can also add audio if you wanted to. Display length images. For the blog you follow, interesting. Blog stats, you can see there's your calendar. Categories, of course, category um, cloud. See content information, there's your custom HTML. Facebook page plugin. It's Flickr, gallery, let's see. Oh, Goodreads, you can show what books you're reading. Google Translate is on there. Add an image. 
MailChimp to let them subscribe if you have like a newsletter. The but Twitter and then a video as well. So a lot of options on there. Recent posts. I think recent posts would be important mm -hmm. with our search and everything. Okay. So that's mainly it. Just kind of playing around, figuring out what you want, trying to figure out exactly what your um, section can do. You know, depending on what uh, you know, what you choose, I guess you could say, because we have our pages, and we've played around with a lot of the the um, blocks that they have that to to install everything now. So if I go to the fall fun and scroll down here, it's lined up in kind of a cool way. Okay, what do you like to do in the fall? And if I wanted to, I could change the, uh, let's see. So if I made that, make it bold. Don't show the font size on here. Or some are just in the wrong place. Italics. Ah, there we are. Okay. So we want it to be a paragraph starting block of the narrative. And change the color. It's mostly what I'm going to do because I didn't like the text color on there. All right, let's see what that looks like. There you go. Now it's white. So again, messing with the theme, you could choose all that as well. Okay, we kind of let it just choose what it wanted to be. It's our nice little art gallery. Will that turn automatically? Let's see. Anyway, so just a few clicks. You can have your own blogger site and talk about what you want to or what you find that's interesting. Well, shoot, I thought that would, uh, maybe in the settings I could have set it to automatic too. Basically choose a theme that you're interested in Color is very important. Having really great photos is important. And mostly kind of learning uh, the program. And working on a project would be the best thing to do to start that. Okay. As you see, they have, they have built-in ways that you can get uh, free photos. Of course, it also includes um, giving the, the person that took the photo credit as well. So, can I drag it? Oh, that's kind of neat. So I can do uh, this if I want to. Or you can click, yeah, click down here and it'll do it too. The reason I point this out in HTML, it's actually kind of a different, a difficult thing to code, even with HTML5. But having a widget that you can just install very quickly, it's, it's ready. You know that it's accessible through a tablet, a desktop, even a cell phone. Uh, makes it very, you know, easy to get started with and easy to, uh, you know, make changes to it as well. So unless it's less of trying to figure out exactly what you're going to do and more trying to figure out exactly you know what content do you want on there which should be kind of our 
excuse me, our main focus too. Okay. Okay, so if I do pull it up in a different web browser, I scroll down, you'll see the articles. You can click on the articles and it'll open right up. There we go. And they had some ads and stuff. All right, so I think we're kind of coming to the end of our class. Let's talk about some tips and safety, okay? A big one is to remember the internet can be mean, okay? Once you post information online, you cannot take it back, so be very aware of that. Maybe it's a good idea if you're doing something that's like an opinion piece. Uh, maybe it's a good idea to have someone else read it, read over it to make sure it can't be taken the wrong way or it does have what you're trying to express to others you know in the way that you've said it okay or express your feelings in that way um, what you post online stays online forever so think before you click okay protect your privacy and other privacy too get there okay before posting something about some about them or their picture online, especially like in an event. Make sure to protect your passwords. Uh, make sure you really know who someone is before you allow them to contact you, okay? Happy Halloween, Jane, to you too. Be aware of what add-ons you enable, okay? I've got some great links here. Um, some of these are like 47, the best WordPress plugins for your website. Mostly, most of them are free. A lot of the time, you, of course, as you saw, we actually have to use the, the WordPress one, but you saw that we actually did have a lot of options. Usually we can find one that'll allow us to do or design it the way we want to. We may just have to learn how to use uh, that theme, okay? Kind of like when we use a template with Word, you know, making a resume or something. It can, in fact, be we need to learn the program and how exactly the template works, and there are some limitations on there too, okay? So we have covered a lot. We covered what is a blog, what is WordPress, why use WordPress, the cost mostly is free, um, so you today can actually just log in, create a website, Use the free version, and if you want to go beyond that, that's up to you. Uh, WordPress.com, we talked about it. We talked about using WordPress as a blog. We also talked about using WordPress as a web page. We had lots of tips and also um, other things that we covered as well. Okay. So, as we get to the end of our class here, just want to thank everybody for joining me. And I hope you learned something new. <laughs> and happy Thursday. I'll tell you a little bit about some of our upcoming classes that we have coming up uh, for next week. So like I said, no class on Tuesday of next week. But we're actually going to be doing a Halloween Scratch Basics class. It's going to be a lot of fun on the 14th. Let's make a fun Halloween card and dance party. And then in the afternoon, we're going to learn about using our new Libby digital system for free ebook books and free uh, digital books, uh, audio books through our library. And then on Thursday, we're going to be doing an app swap. So I'll be sharing different apps that I love and that you would probably, I recommend uh, you know, to download if you're interested in the, the same topics. And we'll talk about shopping and couponing and all that kind of stuff, too. We'll throw some of that stuff in there. And then uh, the 15th, the afternoon, we'll be talking about using the Google Cardboard and what other features that we can have with that. Um, basically having our cell phones connected up to a Google Cardboard and using all those really cool features. Okay. And then a whole bunch of other classes that are Halloween themed. And I hope that you'll join me then. 
Just a little side note, Libby is our new um, way that we access our ebooks and digital audiobooks. Do you realize when we're, ser we're searching for uh, the library, don't just search for Columbia County Library or Harlem or um, Uchi Creek or Evans, or, excuse me, or Grovetown. Uh, you need to search for Greater Clarks Hill Regional Library System, okay? And then it'll say, choose Georgia Download Destination, and then you'll be good to go. It should be up and running. Input your library card, and it's going to work great. Just a little side note, our libraries are open with limited services and hours. Uh, curbside holds pickup is available. You can go to gchrl.org for details or call the library with questions Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube video. Please don't forget to, to like this video as well. And also remember we're having a subscribe drive. If we get 100 people to subscribe to our YouTube channel, we'll get our own uh, personalized YouTube address. Or you can search for YouTube for GCHRL videos and it'll pull right up. Okay? <laughs> Did you learn something new this afternoon? I hope so. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you learned something new, and I'll see you sometimes next week um, on Wednesday. And have a great weekend, and everybody. <laughs> Stay safe and uh, have fun and doing all kinds of computer stuff. How about that? So, have a great day. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> bye bye.